October 2016, Paris. All the food industry actors from the whole world meet at the SAIL, the leading international food fair. In five days, some 2,200 new products are presented. In this market, plagued with difficulties in this period of weak growth in consumption, the search for new offers is constant. I realize that 50% of what I see today in stores did not exist as is five years ago. So if I move the indicator, I can tell you that what will sell the turnover that the agro-food industries will make in five years. So it is fundamental to innovate. You hear about this pressure from the big retailers on the food industry and therefore indirectly on agriculture, posing a margin problem, a profitability problem and often the jobs that are sacrificed are in innovation and communication. So we really have to do everything we can to find breathing space to restore the margins and therefore to revive innovation. Regardless of the company size, small, medium or large, everyone needs to innovate in the service of and for the consumer. There can be an innovation that will be a success in the short term if it is a little bit of a gadget, but it will never be a long-term innovation if it does not meet an important need of the population. It is really important to start not from the product, not from the know-how, not from the recipe, but from the consumer. It is the consumer who chooses the product. Once we have understood this need, we will have to understand how to transfer it into a product, a service that will meet this need. The needs, the expectations and desires of consumers are not the same, depending on the countries, and this is an additional challenge for this sector of activity. The phone that I have in my pocket is the same that is sell everywhere, in Tokyo, in New York, everywhere. Cosmetics, perfume are the same products known all over the world. In food, the French will never eat the same bread as the Germans. An Englishman will never eat horse meat. I discourage simply wanting to develop an innovation and wanting to launch it in the same way everywhere because adjustments sometimes make it possible to answer the consumer expectation more precisely and therefore have a much greater commercial success. So, to create a new product, all possible ways are explored. The food giants lend an attentive ear to every imaginative idea. This is why the SAIAL welcomes Ecotrophilia Europe, their student competition of reference in food innovation. This competition brings together 15 countries. It is now recognized by all players of this market, from distributors to finances. Innovations, ideas come from everywhere. What is important is to know how to accompany them. We are increasingly aware that innovation is often led by very small companies, sometimes even by completely crazy projects from young startups or students. Innovation constantly comes from the outside, through our collaboration with industry, with academy, by integrating young talents who are trained in this context in our research centers. Tomorrow, these young people will be our employees or entrepreneurs. We see that many aspire to become an entrepreneur, so yes, the links, connections really need to be stronger. This is where the collaboration with the universities will start, trying to understand what technologies we need, what scientific knowledge we need, so, Ecotrophilia is like an incubator, ultimately linking all of these connections, so it was natural that Nestlé supports Ecotrophilia. For us, Ecotrophilia plays the role of structuring industry and bringing together different players, industrialists, big industrialists, startups and innovative SMEs and the innovation funders. Ecotrophilia is a true example. It shows the way, but we must duplicate, continue this dynamic of universities' companies. Ecotrophilia, a winning competition for industrialists, but also for students. The Ecotrophilia contest was truly an incredible business card. This contest confirmed that there was an interest in the market, so it helped us get into the project and gave us the necessary confidence to meet the professionals in the field. Ecotrophilia was very important for us to start our company because it helped us to get an overview of how to, how, what you need to produce a complete product. So a product that can go directly into the shelf of the supermarket. More and more agrarian food professionals accompany students upstream to help them realize their project for the contest. This is the case of Frederic Ventre of Yoji. 
In 2015, he bought the Mini Glue concept from the students of Agro Paris Tech after Ecotrophilia. This is the entire chamber of professional life. For those who, in addition, make the choice to work with an industrialist, get support to be accompanied, it is a very, very good experience which can be valorized on a resume. As students, we bring a little bit of this novelty madness, and the entrepreneur brings their experience and they share their industrial and financial knowledge for all of these projects. So they really have supported us throughout all the development stages. We have students who are fresh, who have a lot of enthusiasm in their reflections, in their sources of inspiration. I can assure you that students have nothing to envy the innovation files presented by professionals. The students' work is more and more professional. As their work is more and more professional, the product is becoming more and more rapidly operational and appropriable by an industrialist. Some of the projects are elaborated with companies and therefore correspond to the company's capacity to implement the project on their existing technology in their range of products, therefore reaching the market more quickly. We capture the trends. Ultimately, we showcase the best in academia. It is interesting for industrialists because it's also an age-class marker and this gives clues as to what the consumption of the future will be. We were not ready to be self-employed and it was really a success for us to be able to transfer the rights or the patents of Miniglue. Other ecotrophilia participants have decided to pursue the adventure by creating their own company, like Isiela, winner of the French and European editions in 2013. Ecotrophilia is a good school of entrepreneurship. All aspects of a product development project are addressed as a team, starting from ecotrophilia, from the notoriety that emanated from the competition, we were able to to be more credible, to seek funding in the form of subsidies, to be more relevant when applying to banks for funds. Born out of ecotrophilia, ICLA accumulate prices. Right up to the supreme victory, obtaining the 2016 Sial Gold Prize for innovation. This success story proves the relevance of the competition created in 2000 by the Chamber of Commerce and Industry of Vaucluse.